You might have seen a bunch of these routers popping up on Amazon with a super long Wi-Fi range, but if you get one of these new 10-mile Wi-Fi routers, would it actually be possible to use your home Wi-Fi from across town? If you run Wi-Fi on 900 megahertz instead of 2.4 gigahertz, it goes a lot further. Except the problem is, that means it goes far enough to be interfered with. Now, I used to buy 900 megahertz Wi-Fi cards from Ubiquiti back in 2005. These things exist, and they're interfering with each other. They're generally sold as point-to-point -point systems. And it's important to note, 900 megahertz is not a very wide band. It's only wide enough for one Wi-Fi channel. Everyone there is hitting everyone else. It's not like 5 gigahertz, where there's all these different channels you can pick, and you and the neighbors can be on completely different channels. Now, one trick you can do is you can go to narrower channels. But you're not going to get those ranges in real life. Anytime you're in a city, all those cordless phones, baby monitors, anyone else using this 900 megahertz Wi-Fi signal, they're all going to interfere with you and you're going to get very poor range and very poor speed. How do they get Wi-Fi on 900 megahertz? It is shockingly easy. There's this little analog part called a mixer that lets you mix together two analog signals. And when you mix together two analog signals, you get two analog signals out. One which is the frequency of those two channels added up and one of which is the higher frequency frequency minus the lower frequency. So if you take a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi chip and just mix it with a 1.5 gigahertz clock signal, what you'll get out is 900 megahertz Wi-Fi and 3.9 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Then you just put in a bandpass filter that only lets 900 megahertz through and you just turned a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi chip into a 900 megahertz Wi-Fi. You're not going to be able to pick it up on your phone. No, absolutely not. No, you need the special 900 megahertz Wi-Fi card. I